Nobody likes their fish quarantine. Nobody likes tanks fallow. <sighs> yes, my tanks are being left fallow at the moment, except for my luckily disconnected in time and otherwise relatively, you know, non-intermingled tub. I guess it was lucky that before the outbreak, a little bit of algae built up on its very limited already return, and uh, it just wasn't getting enough flow for them to get infected, apparently. And they're still showing no signs of either ick or bacterial Brooklynella Brooklynella <sighs> so anyways here's the deal folks I've been using this crap since 1995 when I you know it was like fucking 12 or whatever 16, 19 some odd fucking year I was like a teenager and stuff shit that that was on Main Street in Canada I was like 12 or 13 years old and I bought this, I forgot who made it, it was like a clear bottle, blue liquid in it, copper, it wasn't copper safe, it wasn't no kind of safe shit, and I just read the directions and I put it in my fucking aquarium, trying to save my fish, didn't save shit then, killed my whole reef tank. It was horrible. This didn't do a fucking thing for my my currently being mine in her pot. Check that out. And unfortunately, it also did not save Martha. From whatever had her breathing heavy this whole time, which looked like some sort of fluke one time, was able to examine her first mortem. Under the light and whatnot. Well, this is called Paragard. A lot of people don't use it. For many things. But I use it for everything. I use it for baths. I use it for quarantine. I use it for medicating. And I was going to use copper for ick because copper is for ick. Use ick for copper. Copper for ick. Copper ick. ick copper. I should have just used paragraph. Paragard would have fucking work. Paragard is working fine. The Paragard keeps bacterial infections from slight ammonia spikes from killing your fish. And of course, if you've misdiagnosed the ick and it happens to be velvet or brucanella, you're going to need Paragard. Copper's probably not going to do shit for you. There it is right there. Safe alternative to formula. Now, because I no longer have a tang in there, and what really pisses me off is that Martha had a 
started to gain plenty of weight. And it's starting to look really good. And then she goes and just stops fucking eating and starts breathing heavy and croaks. Um, I've now done a half a dose of formula. What am I going to do? That one half dose of to uh, just go ahead and give Pete a head start on eradicating whatever bacteria might have bloomed while she croaked while I was taking my midday three hour nap. Smell the colors. So anyway, another thing that these fish did not get because I was doing the copper and you don't mix anything with copper. You can't even put prime in there with copper. You can't put fucking stress guard in there with copper. Fuck copper. I'm never fucking using copper again. I'm using this. This is going to be my first go-to from now on. You can't really get this to stick to mysis without that, what you call it, they say to buy with it. Um, it's called Focus. There's this thing called Focus that you're supposed to buy. To help this stick to food but this actually already sticks pretty readily to brine shrimp I thought for a second there my camera was gonna focus oh look an unintentional pun for something yes focus to enhance All right. to minimize loss during feeding use with focus to enhance palatability use with Garlic guard or entice. Oh, look. Now you can read it. But this uh, Metroplex here stuck right to some Hikari brine shrimp after a thawing cube and not mixing it, you know, and you just let the cube thaw in its little corner by itself in some RODI water. Um, Poured the fucking powder right on there. And it, it didn't all stick, but it like all up in the legs of the brine shrimp it got stuck. Pete was going to town on it. Maya had some. Everybody had some. Myrtle had some. Taking out like a motherfucker on Myrtle. Um I didn't bother feeding any of that brine shrimp to bubbles and zoom because bubbles and zoom. And them two will just eat the damn powder. That's awesome. So, it's been past day three. Still no effects on the anemones. I dosed, you know, from day seven to day ten. With this. Not a, not a double dose, just the single dose. Rose bubble's fine. Money's fine. Everything's fine. Chalice is fine. Everything's fine. And it seems to have just eating that brine shrimp with this on it seems to have had the, the largest positive effect I've seen. So I'm going to have to go with my uh, previous theory. Of it. This is some underestimated, undervalued, but possibly very good shit if used at the right time and in the right way. I'm wishing I would have not done hypersalinity here. And I think I would have had my fish back in this tank in 11 days. And, uh, frankly, I don't think Martha...